Now, probably the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word halal is food, but in the Islamic culture, halal is a complete way of life, an Islamic traditional aspect that goes back to the times of Prophet Muhammad. And today and tomorrow, there will be a halal exhibition where different aspects of Muslim life are on display. In the Muslim world, teachings of the Quran play a key role in the life of a Muslim. In finance and banking, many have chosen the halal system of banking since its inception 10 years ago. If you wanted a car in a conventional system and the car cost you a million dollars, then the conventional system will tell you that I'll lend you, one, I'll lend you money and after that we would charge you X amount over a period of time. The integrated system of education, merging religion and modern education was also on display. We have a lot of problems in our Islamic societies and environment for the special needs to get learned properly and to be aware with the Islamic environment. For those planning to get married or adopt an Indian style, there were many designs and colors to choose from. This we hired at 15,000. For, for, for three days. Okay. Yeah, we're going to give it out to you for three days. From the survey we see that nine, more than 95% of our customers are all African and buying these things. The exhibition highlighted various medical service providers, but it is the hijama traditional blood cleaning system that caught the eye of many here. There is no way to purify the blood. All right? The best way to purify the blood is through hijama cupping. The automobile industry and the electronics world was not left behind, many engaging in this age-old venture with a unique twist. We provide door-to-door -door services. We come to you, we provide you tire change, balancing, uh, we provide you auto service. We are not uh, really uh, hungry for a profit, so the price is very reasonable. And in terms of being halal, is our advice is free. Najib Balala, the CS Tourism, wants the major players in the industry to tap into halal tourism as they might just trip big from it. Halal tourism is $230 billion by 2020. So why don't we in Kenya take advantage and target the Middle East market or the Muslim market? Leila Mohamed, NTV.